Today I'm going to be showing you how to export your Shopify customer list, how to properly format it, and then how to upload it in Google Ads as a customer list that you can leverage in your campaigns. Uh, so really powerful way to have that list automatically uploaded, maybe weekly, maybe daily, depending on the number of customers you have coming in. Hey everyone, my name is Frank. I'm an account manager here at Solutions 8. And today I'm going to be showing you how to export your Shopify customer list, how to properly format it, and then how to upload it in Google Ads as a customer list that you can leverage in your campaigns. So for some context, customer lists have been important for a while now, but they're getting even more important this year in 2024 due to the deprecation of third-party cookies. You're going to want to feed Google as much first party data as you possibly can to train the smart bidding algorithm. And the best way to do that after enhanced conversions is directly uploading a customer list. So let me just jump right into it. We're here in the back end of our Shopify store. And the first thing you want to do is head to the left hand side here and find the customers tab. Go ahead and click that. And here you'll be able to access all of your customers from your store. And we're going to segment out a specific group of people to upload to Google ads. So in most cases, you're probably going to want to only upload people who have actually made a purchase um, and not just their email address, right? People who are purchasing customers. And you might even want to segment that by country or by product. In our case, we're going to select a group of customers who are from a certain country and have purchased at least once. So click in the segment box. And in my case, I'm gonna type in country, contains and select my desired location, click apply, and then go ahead and start typing and this filter and or or will pop up. I'm gonna choose and, and then type in first order date, scroll all the way down and click exists and apply. What this does is guarantee that anyone in this list here is from that country and has a an existing first order date, meaning they have purchased at least one time. You can see here that's 89% of customers in this store. Um, so the list has dropped a substantial amount. I just figure I don't want to upload those people who aren't in that group just because I want Google to have a narrow focus on exactly uh, my target customers. If you're going to be doing this more than once, click save segment. And then on the left hand side in segments, you'll be able to come back to this segment easily and export it again in the future. In this case, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to click export, make sure you have this, um, all customers matching filters selected, your tags checked, and then your desired file format. I'm going to choose CSV for Excel and then click export. It's going to send you a zip file to your email. Go ahead and download that. Um, open up the zip and then make sure you have the CSV ready to go. Next thing you want to do is head over to a Google sheet that you have open and click file, import, upload, browse, and select your CSV file that you want to upload and click open. It takes a few seconds to upload depending on how large your list is. And then when it's ready, there's a setting that we want to choose. So once you're in this window here, instead of create new spreadsheet, I'm just going to append to the current sheet and leave everything else as is and import our data. So this does take a while because it's or uploading so many data points. So in the meantime, let me show you our options for formatting. Google allows us to upload either a list of just emails for a streamlined upload or email, phone, first, last, zip, and country for the possibility to match with more customers. So that's what we're gonna do. We want the best chance to match our customer list to as many Google accounts as possible. So we're gonna include all of those data points. Um, sometimes it takes a while. So come on back to your Google Sheet whenever it's ready. And then we're going to make sure we remove any other columns that aren't those data points that we just talked about here. So I'm going to remove customer ID, this, this, this one. Um, however, you want to make sure that you leave your zip codes and your country and your phone. 
remove accepts SMS, total spend orders, note, and any other thing here that you don't want to upload to Google. Going to remove all that, delete those columns. First last uh, default address, that's our zip code here, that's our country. Um, and then we have a bunch of phone numbers here. I'm not, not sure why we have two different fields, but I'm just gonna remove this one because it has less data in it. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you match up the column title with exactly what Google is saying. So we do have to change two things here. It is zip and country. You can see here it has default address zip. Make sure you just type in zip. And then this one, make sure you type in country. And then this one, we actually have a third. Make sure you type in phone. And then I like to organize it in the exact order that Google recommends, which is email phone, first, last, zip country. So let's drag our columns, email, phone, first name, last name, zip, and country. Perfect. So we have everything ready to go here. Just do one last double check. Should be good to go. Go ahead and click file, download, and comma separated value. Select that. Should download really quickly here. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Let's try that again. Download CSV. Okay, so now that our list is downloaded, what you want to do is head over to Google Ads. And if you haven't uploaded a customer list before, you need to go to Tools and Settings, Audience Manager, and then click the plus button and create a customer list. For everyone who has already uploaded a customer list sometime, um, what you can do is apply this filter type customer list to easily find the list you're looking for to upload. In this case, we're going to replace our customer list that I uploaded in January. So go ahead and click on your customer list. And in the top right, click these three dots, click edit list. And now that it's March, I'm going to uh, update that to March 2024 and click edit your list based on customer contact information. And I'm going to replace the existing list members with a new customer list. Check this box to make sure that it'll upload properly and uh, do make sure that you collected all of your customer information in compliance with Google's policies. But that one is on you guys um, here under drop here, drop file here or browse, click browse and upload that list. We just downloaded from Google Sheets. Make sure it's the one from there, not the original Shopify download because this is the properly formatted one. Go ahead and click open. And then um, if you have any settings you need to change, for example, you can select a membership duration. I like to select no expiration and you can include a description. So you remember in the future, if this was a list of people who only purchased from a specific country or maybe a specific product, so you don't forget next time you come back. Um, so with everything done there, the next step is to click save and continue and Google is going to upload that. I'll just pause the video here while it uploads. Okay, we're back with our list done uploading and you can see here, it'll give us a summary and it's saying there's a few rows that were formatted incorrectly. Most likely the phone number or something wasn't right, but that's almost 100% of people. There's only 42 rows that we missed, so I'm fine with that. Um, just keep in mind when you upload a customer list, you do need at least 1000 matched customers to be able to use it. And then when you're here, just go ahead and click done. And this list will start populating. If you click on match rate, um, you can see the previous match rate. You click segment members. You can see here the one we just uploaded today. It has just started processing that can take like 24 to uh, 48 hours or more for the list to be fully processed. When it does, you'll be able to see the number of people in the list and the estimated match rate um, of the customers that match to Google accounts. And so from here, once your list is done populating, you can use it as audience signals in Performance Max, exclusions in all kinds of campaigns like YouTube, for example, 
And then the Google ads algorithm can start using those data points as signals for its bidding and optimization. And you'll be in good standing moving forward uh, without those third party cookies as we come into the end of the year. <clears throat> uh, the best practice for this is to upload your lists as often as possible. And obviously with this method, it takes a little bit of time and manual work. So if you want a way to optimize that, I recommend if you have Klaviyo um, integrated with your business or other third-party platforms, maybe like Sendlane, um, to upload your customer list automatically from them. Um, so in Klaviyo, I'm not going to walk through this example in this video, but if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment down below and I can make a video on that in the future. But uh, real quick, when you're in Klaviyo, what you want to do on the bottom left is click integrations and you'll arrive on this page here. You just need to click add integration and search for Google and Google ads. Uh, you do have to link it through an admin account. You can't link it through access uh, one that you have like an MCC account. So just keep that in mind. And then once you do, you're able to select exactly which audience you want uploaded and where. Uh, so really powerful way to have that list automatically uploaded, maybe weekly, maybe daily, depending on the number of customers you have coming in. So that has been how to upload your customer list to Google Ads. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section down below. I appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Hey, it's Costum with Solutions 8, and uh, I'm excited to welcome back my buddy, Matthew Stafford, founder and CEO of Build, Grow, Scale. Matt, thanks for being here as always, buddy. Yeah, excited to be here. Good to yeah. see you. And you have a new initiative that we're just going to dive right into, which is, uh, it's a newsletter specifically for e-commerce store owners called the Early 